Okay, hey everybody. Long time no see. I know, you know, life, life is a little crazy. It's a little crazy. But I hope everybody is enjoying the fall weather. I think it finally is like 46 to 50-ish degrees in the morning and I freaking love it. Um, just quick disclaimer, yes, my nails are not done. It's okay, girl. I took off my SNS and trying to give my nails a break, but <sighs> anyway. So I wanted to come real quick and talk to you all about some hits and misses that I've experienced in the month of September. Also, probably at the end of August, I thought I'd just lump it all in. This is in no particular order. I'm just gonna do hits and misses on the things that I have tried. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is by As I Am, and it is the Double Butter Cream Rich Daily Moisturizer. I use the Double Butter Cream whenever I'm nervous. When I'm nervous that my hairstyle might actually turn into trash, or when it actually does turn into trash. I use the double butter cream to revive my hair and it saves me each and every time. This stuff is so expensive. I honestly think this is the most expensive item that As I Am sells, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's because they know how bomb it is. It is just, it is so good. And I have had a couple of failed twist out <laughs> in the month of August and September and this is always clutch it's always bay like I just I love it so much okay, so another hit was me using the ORS curls unleashed boosting jelly I love this stuff so much every single time that I have used it I've I have not had a problem with it there's no drying um, I've paired it with Jamaican black castor oil Anyone, it doesn't matter like which um, which oil, but I, it just, it's amazing. I love it, it's not drying. The only thing that I hate is the scent. The scent is so trifling, like the scent is so obnoxious. Like it is just a violation, but I still love it so much. Like I, I'm gonna use it. Like I'm going to keep using it, but I, I hate the scent so much, but this is bae. So another hit is the Miel, and this is the shampoo and the conditioner from the Pomegranate and Honey collection. You guys saw that I did a review on these products and I really, really like them. No, I have not put the top back on this yet because the top is so bad. The top is, so, the pop is so bad. It is so bad and I'm just not gonna be bothered with putting it back on. But I love the both of these. I've seen so many mixed reviews. Like It's like, nobody's in the middle either they hate the products or they like them so i don't know i enjoy the shampoo and the conditioner i have been using it faithfully as you can see it has all this good because we go to side and shower girl and i still have not put the top back on what i don't enjoy is the curl refreshing spray i i i i i i, I don't know I've used this a couple of times because the first time I used it, my hair was extremely dry. I mean like seven day old hair, real dry. But I was like, curl refreshing spray, refresh me sis, did not. It felt, I, I, it just felt so weird. Like the texture of it while it was on my hair, like I would spray it on my hair and then it's like my hair would feel even more dry it would just feel wet, but still dry. Like it didn't give any type of slip whatsoever. I'm like, well, I just could have used water for all that. Like, I mean, it smells great. I could put a little oil in my water, make it smell good. And I, I don't think I would repurchase this at all. I, I don't think you need it. it did nothing for me. Another hit is the Camille Rose, and this is the Honey Hydrate the, from the Leave-In Collection, and I am so traumatized because I am super low on this. Oh my gosh, like I, if I had to pick one Leave-In to use 
If I was stranded on a desert island with a hot gun, eh, I would definitely bring this. I would bring this leave-in. This is the only leave-in I would bring. And it's so funny because again, this is another hit or miss. Either people really, really like this or they really, really hate it. Like there's no in between. <laughs> Um, but I, this is my favorite. This, oh, this is my favorite leave-in. It's my favorite. So this is the Lauder Body with Coconut and Shea Oils. And this is the Cleanse Me Co-Wash. I think I actually used this in the beginning of August. But we still gonna throw it in there. I, mm, you know, co-washes are so tricky because it's like you have to think to yourself, like, what, what am I asking? what am i actually looking for here you're looking for a product that is going to clean your hair as well as moisturize your hair like at the same time this did not like i felt it was it it, it just sat on my hair i didn't feel like my hair was getting clean i also didn't really get the moisture out of the product so it was like uh, no. because some co-washes honestly you can really just use them as conditioners if they don't really do the cleansing part of the co-wash just use it as a conditioner um but i don't i couldn't use this as a conditioner or like just a regular wash because I, no not for me not for me Oh my gosh, another one is by African Pride. This is the Honey Chocolate and Coconut Oil Nourish and Restore Conditioner. Ow! A lot of y'all really like this. A lot of y'all really like this. And so I said to myself, hmm, self, try it again. Because everybody else seems to like it. But you, something's wrong with you. Try it again. I tried it again and I still have the same issues that I had the first time. You could barely get it out of the bottle. Like, look, like. Also, it's like, I just, I just don't get the moisture out of this product. It is just, is I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know. The smell, the scent is not even that strong. Maybe I just got a defective one. And I'm not going to purchase another one to figure that out. But I, it, it just don't work for me like it works for everybody else. And I'm a little mad about it because, I mean, these products are very cheap. Uh, so I really wanted this to work, but it just didn't. So, oh well. Another product that I really, really enjoyed is by Aussie, and this is from that Curls Collection. This is the Leave-In Detangling Milk, and I, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. I used it on my hair last night, and I'm out of it. I'm so sad because the Target that sells the Curls Collection is not that close to me, so I would literally have to go out of my way to go pick this up again, and I'm furious about it because I really do like it. So this is the next product that's by Cream of Nature with Argon Oil from Morocco and this is for natural hair. For some, somebody, somebody explain to me why the Cream of Nature for natural hair collection, I guess, why you can't find it everywhere. Like I, like Cream of Nature is one of those brands that you should be able to find their products at Target, Walmart, um, I don't know about Dollar General, but Sally's, like, they have their other collection. It's just something about this four natural hair collection that is just not everywhere. You know how long I've been looking for this? So long. Finally found it at the beauty supply store. Um, and this is the apple cider vinegar clarifying rinse, removes product buildup, seals the cuticle, helps protect the natural pH of hair, refreshes scalp, no alcohol, no need to mix. So, my scalp has been like insanely itchy lately. I don't know what's been going on. I'm like, am I eating some raw? <laughs> Something's coming out of my scalp. Like what, is something birthing out of my scalp? Like I just, my scalp has just been so itchy. <sighs> I, I really do like this, okay? The nozzle is so small, let me show you. 
The nozzle on this is super, super tiny. So you basically just in the shower, once your hair is wet, put this on your scalp. Let me tell you, it feels so, it, it feels so good. So good. I, I just, I kept squeezing the bottle and squeezing the bottle. I was like, more, more. Like it just felt so good. However, you got sensitive eyes like me. Like my eyes are so sensitive. I almost went blind. Like I literally was like, no, I can't do it. Like I had to search for my washcloth and just like rub the mess out of my eyes. And I was like, I think it's okay. <laughs> okay, it burns. It, it burns your little infant. If you have infant eyes like I do, yeah. It definitely burns, um, but I still like it. I don't care, I'm still gonna use it. So another thing is my, me and my friend were talking about this and she said that she uses shampoo as well, a, along with the ACV rinse. I didn't, I just used the rinse and then washed it out and put in my conditioner. So let me know how you all use um, apple cider vinegar clarifying rinses, like do you, use it as your shampoo or do you still shampoo your hair after you use the rinse? Cause maybe I did it wrong, I don't know. Okay, so here are more products from the Aussie Curls Collection that I already did a review on, but <sighs> I don't know, I, like I don't feel like these are hits or misses. I feel like they straddle the fence. Um, the shampoo is okay. If you're looking for something fairly cheap, I think it's like $3.99. Um, it's not a horrible shampoo. It's just not a super moisturizing shampoo. If you're looking for a really affordable moisturizing shampoo, try the Suave. I think it's, it's in a green bottle. I think it's called Suave Almond and Shea Butter. That is a bomb. The conditioner is also super, super amazing. And I think it's like, you can find it for like a dollar sometimes if it's on sale. So that's actually a really good um, shampoo and conditioner for the low, low. Uh, this, it was just okay. I just, mm, I can forget it, honestly. Um, the same with the conditioner. It, it was almost there, but just not there, there. Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna talk about the Luster's Pink Line. Um, I actually did a video, I did a video on this. And, um, I deleted it by accident and I'm not doing it over, so <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in here. So this is the Luster's Pink Shea Butter Coconut Oil for Natural Textured Hair. So this is the Moisturizing Hair Milk, the Leave-In Conditioner, the Curl and Twist Pudding. So the sun is going down again, it's fine. Um, so anyway, this is the Leave-In Conditioner and I really, really like the Leave-In Conditioner. Like, the slip on this is so shocking because, I mean, I haven't tried anything from Luster's Pink in a very long time. Like pink lotion, yes, we have all used that, but I haven't used their products in a very long time. And this is really good. It says it detangles, moisturizes, softens, and it adds shine. Um, this is with shea butter, coconut oil, plus castor and sunflower oils, marshmallow root, vitamin E, and pro vitamin B5. I was really shocked about this leave-in conditioner. Like. I would buy this. If I could find this in store, I will buy this again. I was really, I was really shocked. It really did add a lot of shine to my hair. I was able to detangle, like it just, like the slip is crazy. I really do like this product. The hair milk, I wasn't so, uh, it's, it's, it's fine, but I don't think that I would reach for it because it's almost, I mean, it's just, it's, it's okay. It's nothing to um, run out to the store and go get. I, sometimes I honestly feel like a hair milk is a hair milk is a hair milk. Um, I mean, I know some are more moisturizing than others, but I mean, 
I don't normally buy hair milks anyway. This was at the Women's Expo that I went to and I think you got a deal if you got like three. So she suggests that I pick this one up and it's not bad, it's just I don't, if I'm already using a leave-in and I'm doing my hair, like I, I don't know. I, I, I just probably wanna use it. So it's okay, but it's nothing that I'm excited about. Next, we have the Curl and Twist Pudding. I really, really like this one. Um, this is the same shea butter, coconut oil, olive and argan oil, olive vera, um, and vitamin E. And this smells really good too. I keep smelling it because it smells really good. I actually really like this. I didn't have any issues with it. I used it on a braid out for my hair. It gave me shine, but I also paired it with the hair milk and the leave-in conditioner, so there's that. But I really did like this. Um, I would pick it up again if it's at an affordable price that I feel like Luster's Pink product should be. Now, if this is like a cute $12.99, I don't know, no. but if it's like $5, $6.99, I, I definitely think I would pick this up again. I didn't have any problems with it. The hold was good on here. The definition was good on here. I, I really liked it. So, good job, Luster's Pink. Yay, break it to the natural hair scene. I also want to show you all products that I'll be using this month. And I picked up two from Sally's and it is the, they're both my main choice because y'all told me to use the main choice. Y'all told me I was using it wrong and that I just gotta try the products. So I ended up getting the Do It Fro The Culture and this is the Bold Buttery Gel. <sighs> I've, seen, I've seen some reviews on this already and I'm, petrified about using it because <laughs> the reviews have just been <sighs> um so yeah this is infused with biotin and vitamin a c d and e it says the bold buttery gel is the best of both worlds nourishes and moisturizes like a butter and controls like a gel this bold combination delivers an amazing flexible hold without the excess weight and those are the two things that I love. I love a good buttercream. Like, I'm a buttercream girl. And I'm not too much of a gel girl, but I figured the best of both worlds. Also picked up the main choice, Tropical Moringa Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Styling Cream. And this says it helps to support natural growth and retention. Replenishes and seals and lasts in moisture, helps to strengthen, protect, and replenish nutrients, instantly absorbs and softens, helps to reduce breakage and minimize shedding, enhances natural, girl. Anyway, I got this. So by next month, I should be able to let you all know if I like it or if I don't like it. Okay, you guys, so that is it. Those are my hits and misses for the month of August and September. Like I ain't gonna lie, it ain't just September, it's August and September. So let me know which products that you've used for the month of August, September, throughout the year that you feel like are hits or misses, or if you've tried any of these and your opinion is different than mine. Let's fight about it, girl, let's, let's fight. Let's, we can fight, girl, we can go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you all in the next one.